Ahoy! My name is Ben, Ben Clanton, and I am an author and illustrator, or because I like to do both, both draw the pictures and write the words and mash them together, I like to call myself an authorstrator. And some of my favorite things to make books about are such creatures as narwhals and jellyfish, as well as dragons, monsters, dinosaurs, and one of my very favorite things in this world to draw and make books about is potatoes. Especially this bud here. This is my spuddy rot. And this is the cutest in the world. Which I'd like to read for you. Rot, the cutest in the world by some guy called Ben Clanton. Hello, this is Rot. He's a mutant potato. Like most mutant potatoes, Rot loves mud. Eating stuff, num num num. Checkers, king me, fooey. And all sorts of games and contests. Steering contest, re, set, go. I have no idea if you've blinked. We're going to call that your victory. So when Rot sees a sign that says cutest in the world contest, Rot can't wait to enter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cutest in the world contest, enter now, this way. Rot is sure he'll win. He is so sure he sings a winning song. <clears throat> I'm the cutest in the world, the cutest in the world, the cutest, cutest, cutest in the world. Oh, my ears, what is that awful sound? But then Rot sees the other contestants. There's an itty bitty baby bunny with fluffy floppy ears, a little little bow witching bow whiskered cuddly kitten, and an eeny weeny pink and peppy jelly jellyfish. The other contestants don't think much of Rot's chances. My poor adorable eyes. It's hideous. Ick. I think I'm going to be sick. Wow. Rock considers eating everyone. He would win for sure if he were the only contestant. Nom, 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 nom. But it wouldn't be a very nice thing to do and would probably give him indigestion. Poof. No. Maybe. Rot would be cuter if he had big ears like the bunny. Oh, look, I look like you. Um, no. Or maybe it'd help if he had whiskers like the kitten. Oh, they're kind of itchy. You look ridiculous. Take those off. Perhaps if he were pink and peppy, like the jolly jellyfish. We're pink and we're happy. None of it makes Rot feel any cuter. So, Rot decides just to be himself. He doesn't stand a chance. Is he actually going up there? That takes guts. Last up, Rot! Rot steps on stage and struts his stuff. He smiles his biggest smile. Yeah. He shows his best side. What do the judges think? Drum roll, please. Whisper, whisper, whisper. 
Rat is the cutest in the world. I think I'm in love. He's perfect. Seriously? No way. Huh. Rock gets a great big trophy. Ooh. It is so shiny that Rock can see his reflection. And Rock thinks he looks like... The cutest in the world! Ugh. This contest was totally rigged. Wait, are you wearing a unibrow? Um, do you like it? And that is... The end. Thanks for reading Rot the Cutest in the World with me. I'd like to show you how I draw Rot. Rot. Let's get a fresh piece of paper here. There we go. If you'd like to join along with me, I'd love that. We have uh, all you need, sheet of paper, something to draw with. And let's begin with a wiggly, squiggly, big, tall, oval, like so. Uh, reason I say wiggly squiggly is because potatoes, they're lumpy, bumpy things, not perfectly round. So if it doesn't come out perfectly oval, don't worry about it. That's all the better for it, adds character. And then just above our halfway point on this big tall oval, we'll add a little one here and another slightly bigger one here. A little one inside of this one filled in for a pupil. And then a bigger one here, inside this one. It's looking at you, I think. And Rot is feeling pretty happy about it too. Excited to see you. Uh, Rot is pretty excited about most things. Let's see, just below the bottom of the eyes here, we're right in line with it. A couple more ovals uh, for nostrils. You'll notice it's been all ovals so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, and a half ovals to make this uh, character of Rot. And then actually I'm going to use three more half little ovals for teeth. Now I'm going to break the oval pattern and add a scribble up above the eyes, back and forth for an eyebrow. Some squiggly wiggly lines here for hairs. One, two, three, four, five of those. And let's have Rot waving. So a little line coming out like that, and then one, two, three, four fingers. The reason I draw four fingers instead of five is it makes the gesture a little bit clearer. That's something that cartoonists will often do, is use one less finger than usual. So go with four instead of five. And then on the other side here, another line for the other arm, four more fingers. And then for the legs, I just do two lines like so, two stick legs. Scribble underneath to show that rot's not just floating in the middle there. And then just like uh, an actual potato with all its little knobs and whatnots, let's, uh, let's add some little marks here to rot. Then we'll line under this eye, another little mark here, little dot, dot, bunch of little dots on rot. And there we have it. That is how to draw rot. But I don't just like to draw potatoes on paper. I also like to paint and draw on potatoes. I thought I'd show you a little about that here. What you would need, well, is a potato, and then a little acrylic or tempera paint. I've got some white here. Splotch a bit of that onto a little plate. Take a paintbrush, dip, dip, and then paint two circles like so. Give it a while to dry. I have one here that's already dry. I gave it some time. And you can test with your finger to see if it's actually dry yet. But I have one that is fully dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and circle around those white circle ovals that I had put on and painted on. So a couple like that and draw inside of those to make the eyes. Couple of little dots down below there. There we have the nostrils. A little U for a smile. 
a scribble above those eyes, and there we have it. We have a little spuddy. I've actually drawn one on both sides of this potato. <laughs> and I have a few more here. Here are a few more of my, my mutant potatoes, my spuddies. I think this one's my favorite. But then I also have a, oh, here's another one. And then I have a rot one where I even added a little paper crown here, uh, a cape, as well as mustache and a pig nose, a pig tato. And then I stuck sticks into it for the arms and legs. Now, the reason I made this one is to go with this book, another Rot book. This one's actually coming out pretty soon, Rot the Bravest in the World, in which we meet Rot's big brother, Snot, who I'm afraid is a bit of a snot. This is not terribly nice to poor Rot. This story is actually inspired a little bit by my relationship with my sister, aka Mean Green Smith, the Jean, who I get along really well with now, but I didn't necessarily get along with so well as a kid. Not all the time, at least. We had our highs and lows. And um, that relationship, though, inspired a bit of Snot and Rot's relationship. This is Snot, who, to be clear, looks nothing like my sister. And that book's coming out soon. Oh, but I, I have one more art project I wanted to share with you. Um, so not only can we draw and paint on potatoes, but we can cut up potatoes. Don't let Rot hear that. Uh, we can cut up potatoes to make potato stamps. So I can, um, and using, don't, don't help please with this one. I have it growing up on hand. Uh, you can cut a potato and then using cookie cutter, or if you're uh, feeling brave, cutting out your own shape. Uh, from the potato, dipping that into a bit of paint or ink, and then splotch onto the paper. Uh, and that is how I actually made the speech bubbles for Rot the Cutest World and Rot the Bravest in the World. That is a potato stamp. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'd love to find out what sort of book you would make about uh, a potato or what other sort of vegetable do you think would make for a good character? Oh. <laughs> Looks like I have a friend joining me here. I've got to go. Well, thanks for joining me. Bye.